Right, Indian 741B, which we've already done videos of on building the engine. Um, so that's all done on the bench, ready to go. So what we've got is a big pile of parts and lack of, lack of memory on my part from years ago, but um, it'll all come back to me. So, so, so just explain, uh, you haven't rebuilt a 741B for the best part of 20 years, you were saying? Probably 20 years, yeah. Yeah, it's been a long time since I've put one together, yeah. Certain little quirks with them, but just go through what's there, we'll have a look. Um, see what we've got, see what we haven't got. Okay. We've got air filter, exhaust system, that's all your pedal system. Right, so that's your clutch and your foot brake and your side stand. That all fits, see that hexagonal bar? That one goes through there. All oh, right. Okay, yeah. so everything's up at that level. I can't remember where this goes. That bolt, so that's threaded, so there's obviously something that goes in here. I know that's the generator mount, I believe. Um, so you've got engine plates, front and rear, the others are on the engine. So you have to build the gearbox. That should be coming out of there. I'll show you the shifter rod in a minute. So you have to build the gearbox, make sure that nothing's put together properly on it. Um, but then you have to put the engine in, then you have to fit your primary cover. Your inner and outer primary cover. So there's an order of doing it. I remember that much. Um, like I said, the wheels are binding. So basically, it's just been thrown together loosely, yeah? Yeah. So I'll take all the wiring out of the way to start with. Take the gearbox out, rebuild the gearbox so it's up to tolerance, you know, because we all spare shims and stuff over there. So do that. Check out why the back brake binding slightly. Um, we've got no front mud guard. We haven't got the rear end of the mud guard for the rear. Front wheel was laced up wrong, so it's been spaced off and stuff, so, but he's not happy with this washer here, which I don't blame him. So we'll take that out, machine something up nice for it, so it's all pretty. Got to readjust all of the forks because they're just thrown together loosely. Basically, you have to put the engine in first with the engine plates, but only on one side. Then you can fit your engine in like that. So you just put this plate on and this plate on. Fit the engine in, put your other plates on. But that has to come through there. Gearbox has already been built. So then, you have to put your primary on because you have to bolt the primary to the gearbox through holes in the clutch basket. Yeah. That's your inner primary cover. So once your engine's in, the drive sprocket comes through there, and that, when that clutch is out of the way, slides on there, you see those holes? One, two, three? Yeah. That's your three or four bolts around there. So that gets a gasket, then you put that on to the engine and the gearbox, okay? Again, you've got to play around with all this. It should hold itself in place, but the rear of the frame is bolted on there and here. So that's a completely different section. So when you go to put your engine, you might have to do that with the frame. Okay. To pull it in and out and make sure all this is sort of where it should be and stuff. Yeah, because basically if you take those bolts out, it falls in half. <laughs> so you've got to be a bit careful what you're doing with them. So that does that, but then when you put this on, the front drive sprocket, that's been machined out, should have another set of teeth there. It's been machined out for a belt drive on a different dynamo. Yeah. So you will need, I need the belt to go on there, because that sits on the inside of the primary, and that is a casing that bolts onto the engine. So you need to get that belt on there, wh whichever way the wind blows, before you even start putting that on. Um, like I say, that should come through there, that's your gear lever there. So then your gear shifter's up there, rod comes from there to there, just changes gear, yeah? See that? Yeah. That should come out of that hole there. And then that lever there, when the gear lever's up here, he goes in there, that goes in there and that shifts your gears, yeah? Okay. So that's a pretty simple one. Can't remember what holds all these cables together. Um, whether it should have a screw underneath and the... Until I take it all apart, I don't know. Because yeah. the outers, I don't think the outers will fit through those holes. But they might do. 
Um, I'll have to look on a parts book, you know. So there are our outer cables. Gearbox shims, clutch nuts, stop lamp switch, kickstart and rear drive chain that goes on that side of the gearbox. So that one with your teeth there, look, that goes on there first. Okay? Yeah. Then you have spring loaded with your what you call a kickstart quadrant, which is that. Very distinctive noise on an Indian. That's square cut, so that goes on there, on that square cut. That's spring loaded back, so when you kick it. That will rotate the engine and it can just turn back on its own, yeah? Yeah. There uh, should be a lock screw that goes in there. Just holds that nut when that's on there. Tab washer and a lock screw. But we don't know what the tolerances are like on the gearbox anyway, so that's all got to come out and be looked at, okay? Basically, as I say, get the wiring and everything out of the way. Take the seat out of the way. Build the gearbox first. So you know that's because you have to put it together with that primary case on the bench and make sure your tolerances are okay yeah make sure it's selecting gear properly then you can take that back off you know your gearbox is done then we can put the engine in air cleaner tube on a set of indian spark plugs they're cool indian heat range will be c made by edison yeah and they're quite nice little plugs though isn't they mm. all right that is your clutch rod from your clutch pedal that's your rear brake rod that's your brake crossover bar, goes in the bottom of the frame because your brake pedal's on the right and the Indian brake's on the left. Okay. Okay? So you have a crossover bar through the frame. That's your gear shifter. Distributor, got to do the pin in that, sort all that out. But that's all been built, so you've got to advance and retard on that. It just turns. But we've got all the bits to do it, so that's the main thing. Front brake cable, HT leads, two clutches, so we can choose the best out of all of that lot. And that's the correct gear linkage bar for the top, I think. Should be the same length. That one's too long that's on it, I think. This is your outer primary. That's your primary chain tensioner. Primary chain runs over that. You screw that nut up, but that should be a nut with a lock nut on it. You see where the chain's been loose, look, worn through the alley casing. Yeah. You don't want any of that going on. Well, that lets you just adjust that up. You take that plug out, feel the tension of it. That's you fill a hole. Now, you see where the clutch has been rubbing here? Yeah. That could be due to bad end play or anything. you just got to go through it. So how long is it, would it take to put one of these bikes together? <coughs> I know you've got a lot of workings out to do, but... Um, probably the best part of a week, I would have thought. You know, it doesn't sound a lot of work, but it is a lot of work when you... But the engine was the bulk of the work, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But these are fiddly to put together. These are renowned for the chains not lining up and all sorts of weird things. So you've got to, you can't, the Harley, because it's a one piece frame and everything, you pretty much just throw it together, you know, within the realms of getting it right. Yeah. But these take a little bit, little bit more fettling, a little bit more playing around, you know. Why are the chains renowned for not aligning up properly? Because inherently the backs of the frames get bent and all sorts of things. When you're a big old sturdy frame, but your wheel offsets, your gearbox offsets, it's all sorts of different things. And is that because it's a two-piece frame? Um, yes and no, realistically. Yes, you can get bent frames and you can have all the mounting lugs wrong and all sorts, but the way that it is all bolted together, it, everything sort of bolts to each other Whereas the engine's separate from the gear, but the engine is separate on this, but it isn't, if that makes sense. Once that outer pri inner primary is on, you've only got that. It's only one way it fits, that's mm. it. So they're just a bit quirky, that's all. Yeah, and he said the, fr the tanks don't fit, so they've got to be fettled. Yeah, um, bit of work to do, didn't they? Yeah, it's just it's little bits and pieces, but they take up time, you know. Mm. Clutch springs, front brake lever, speedo cable, which he said was too short, Indian hand grips, another carb elbow, there's one already on the bike, distributor rotor arm and a set of points, carburetor filter, distributor cap, a big washer for something, gearbox shims, gear linkage plus two keyways, brake light switch, a set of HT leads, various nuts and bolts, new rear chain, ignition switch with a key, which is a bloody miracle, uh, repro speedo, uh, Indians originally were left hand throttle. So he wants it set up right hand throttle. Again, not sure how that works out with the spirals in the grips because whether you need to push the throttle or pull it, 
I'm not sure till okay. I get it all together. Okay, front brake lever. Not sure if that's correct or not. I've got a feeling it is. Um, all of these. A couple of them are okay. But I said to him, you know, I, I can make them out of brass. He said, yeah, that's fine. Go for that. What were they originally? Like that zinc tin plated. Okay. Is it zinc or tin? We'll just make those out of brass. It'd be easier. Um, you know, just copper tube and cleaned up. I've got to just have a quick look through a parts list first and see what's missing. So you've got an inner plate there, okay? Comes out there, generator sits here. Originally was chain drive, now belt drive. Then you've got an outer cover, and I, like I say, whatever goes up in that frame at the front, I'll have to, like I say, look in a parts book because I can't remember. And parts are relatively available? Relatively. I think Kim's pretty much got everything. Okay. It's just what he could find when he bought the bike down that it was a rush because he was going to Goodwood. Okay. So there's probably another big box of bits somewhere or which is fine. Yeah. It'll be a nice little project.